How does junctions affect sound insulation? Let's say you have a concrete structure like this. Uh, I think we do like this. Concrete. And then you have uh, somebody walking on this floor. Or if they are, this is like the, the view from the side. From the side. Uh, and then uh, somebody's walking here and or pulling a chair or uh, sounds from shoes or impact scraping sounds like that then the structure born sound will enter this structure and it will travel from one room to the next or, or in the other direction as well and be radiated unless you have some kind of wall here now if this is just a lightweight wall it's uh, basically gypsum and some mineral wool wall simple solution you won't have much damping in a junction like that like this because it's a very different acoustic properties in this wall compared to that one so the energy will have a hard time to, to propagate out oh sorry the red pen should use to go like this and out through this wall most of it will stay in, in the concrete a little bit will go here of course but but if you instead if you would have had if you would have had a concrete wall here so this is also concrete then here you will have a lot more oops a lot more energy will go this way and it will split up and go this way too because here you have the same material so it's uh, quite easy for the sound energy destructible sound to be to jump over into through this junction and and if you have let's say you have another one oops wrong color again down here another concrete and some of the energy will split down this direction as well and be radiated in in various rooms so you, I, I think you can see where this is going now if if the sound energy is distributed over several paths like this then the sound pressure level in here will probably be lower compared to if both the upper and the lower wall would have been if we would have had just lightweight walls here you wouldn't have had as much damping in this junction because most of the energy would go like that and only a little bit would propagate down through those paths and this is uh, Im an important fact to consider when you're when you want to design optimum solutions for various types of floor coverings so if you have if you have this solution that we're looking at right now, then maybe you need a somewhat better. It could this could be some elastic layer, and then you have a floating floor on top. And in this case, because most of the energy will go this way, it's motivated to invest in a better solution here with regards to sound uh, reduction. Whereas if you have concrete on all these you might it might suffice with a i just use a thinner pin, pen now to illustrate the same con concept we, we still still use some kind of floating floor but maybe maybe we can use a cheaper product here because you will have the separation of energy in the junction and there will be less energy that will come out or, or go in that direction because you will have a higher damping in this junction i hope that made some sense please let me know in the comments if it didn't so i can adapt and improve in future videos well and in today's video i'm just wearing a gray shirt because i've actually got rid of my work uniform it's late in the evening now and uh, 
when I go into dad mode, civilian clothes, I don't really rock the the suits anymore because I got two Labradors and everything becomes quite messy. But tonight I didn't do this video in time, so I had to do it late in the evening and that's why I look like standard outfit instead. I, I even I can't even show you. I got the, the television presenter look that I have. <laughs> some, some crappy outdoor pants. Very useful, very good pants for walking the dogs and then a little shirt, so I look somewhat decent at least, but yeah, I think it works. It works for now. The important thing is that I just create the video and keep keep the momentum going. See you later.